Hey everyone, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Samsung Galaxy Book Flex. I'm going to show you how to get inside and safely access your battery. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access our bottom case screws. Now, as you see on the bottom of your computer, there's a rubber foot in each of the four corners that's held down by either double-sided tape or very light glue. So if you have a small flat pry tool, maybe like a small screwdriver, you can get it under there and pop those up fairly easily. Just be aware they are rubber, so if you're not getting under there enough or if you're popping it up too hard or too unevenly, you can damage them. After you get the rubber feet off, they will each reveal a screw underneath. Uh, once you take that screw off, you'll take a small flat pry tool and you're gonna go around the seam of the bottom case and pry it off from your computer. Now, if you watch my videos, you'll know that for metal computers, I generally recommend a plastic pry tool because they scratch your case less. However, with this bottom case, even though it's metal, uh, I had a hard time getting this bottom case off. It's really stuck on there, really snapped on there very well. So I had to end up using a, a metal pry tool, even though that wasn't my first option. So. If you do go that route, just be very careful not to damage your bottom case. And also be aware there are only four screws holding this down. It may be very difficult to pop that up, but that's just this computer, unfortunately. After you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a general repair side note, whenever I'm operating on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any of these replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, and it will give you a list of all those tools, supplies, and replacement parts for this computer. So here's your battery on, on the bottom. Uh, it's held down by four screws, uh, one on each side, the left and the right, and then two on the bottom near the left and right corners. Once you take those screws up, it plugs into the motherboard right here. Now that's a snap plug. That's not an insert plug. This just snaps directly up and off of that port. Uh, be aware these wires are fragile. All wires in a laptop are fragile. So whenever you're working on a, a plug, try to avoid pulling or jerking on these wires. Just manipulate the plug itself. Uh, also, as you can see, this white wire is held down to the battery by these two pieces of tape. This is one of your antenna wire that comes over here to the right and snaps onto your Wi-Fi card. If you don't wanna yank that off, make sure that you undo the, these pieces of tape before taking your battery out. Now this is a Samsung brand name battery that you'll have in here stock, 15.4 volt, 54 watt hour, and this is your model here. Uh, I will have this information written below in the description so it's easier to see if you're looking for your own replacement. But again, as I mentioned earlier, I will have a battery replacement option below in the description in that link uh, with all the tools, supplies, and replacement parts for this model computer. And I guess the last thing to shout out in this video, if you're here because your computer is not turning on, um, it is possible that your battery is bad and you need to replace it but most laptops should still turn on and work with only a charger. Uh, so if your computer's not turning on, there may be another reason why it's not working. Up top, also below in the description, I will have a video link. It'll be a video tutorial showing you how to troubleshoot a laptop that's not turning on. So that's the video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, please feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, but also if you just wanna keep me on hand, uh, to answer any of your computer questions. I do try to answer all questions and comments at least a couple times a day, uh, but make sure you do check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer to commonly asked questions. Also, feel free to check out the related links uh, section below in the description. I try to add from time to time things in there that I think can help you um, or make your computer life, your computer world uh, more enjoyable and more productive. So thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.